Hey, you may have heard of this thing called RevShare. It's something that a lot of cloud-based real estate brokerages are utilizing today. But you might have a lot of questions like, what is it? Why do they offer it? How exactly does it all work? Well, today I'm going to break it down for you, specifically how real brokerage utilizes RevShare and how it can apply to you as an agent. Now, if you've seen videos before about Reels RevShare, I'm just going to let you know some things have really changed. In fact, today we're going to be going over stuff that isn't even in effect yet. It doesn't go live until November first. So if you've watched other videos and they were made before today, I still encourage you to stick around, pay attention to what we have going here, because there's a lot of new things happening that are actually extremely amazing for agents and are kind of really shaking things up in the rev share space. Well, one of your first questions might be, why do companies even offer a rev share? Why don't they just keep these profits for themselves? And there's a couple different reasons that companies might offer rev share. First and foremost, it's a way to invest back in their agents. If you're a real estate agent, you know markets can be cyclical, which means your paychecks can be cyclical. By offering agents multiple ways to make money, they can help you kind of deal with those ebbs and flows that might happen in your business by having another revenue stream come in via the form of rev share. Companies also offer RevShare, well, frankly, to help them grow their business. If you're coming from a traditional brick and mortar or franchise style real estate office, then you know that your broker is managing a lot of things. They're not only managing contract compliance and the day-to-day -day operations of the office, but they're also having to recruit agents and grow that office. Well, RevShare incentivizes the agents within the brokerage to go out and help grow and attract like-minded agents that might want to give this cloud-based brokerage a try. By incentivizing agents that are already part of the brokerage, they're taking the recruiting completely off the... By incentivizing the agents already within the brokerage to help attract agents, they're taking recruiting off of the plate of the broker entirely, helping them free up things like running the actual business and making sure that contracts are compliant and that agents are getting the support that they need. So now you might be wondering, well, how does RevShare exactly work? And at Real, if you're an individual agent, you are an agent. 85-15 split. And that's until you hit a cap of $12,000. So if you're already a real estate agent, you should be very familiar with splits. If you close a transaction, 85% of that is going to you as the agent, 15% is being retained by real. Of that 15%, 5% of it is going back to the agent that recruited you, who is sponsoring you to be at Real to pay them for attracting you and helping you grow and build your business. This is the first tier of rev share. So if an agent recruits you to Real and you have a 12K cap and they're taking five grand of that, the agent that sponsored you over is gonna make about $4,000 a year for every agent that they sponsor and bring over in their first tier. Now it's capped at $4,000 because you're capped at $12,000. And if you're not paying into the cap anymore, then there's really nothing left to disperse within the rev share model. And after your $12,000 cap, you're getting 100% of the commission. Real isn't retaining anything, so they really can't pay it out anywhere. Now look, I get it. I don't have rev share breath. I, most of us know that we are real estate agents for a reason. We're here to sell homes. And at Real Brokerage, we are not a heavy recruiting cloud-based brokerage. We want you to attract agents that are like-minded with you. And in the event that you do attract an agent or two, we think that you should be compensated for that. And if you are a standard agent, you bring over two or three agents, you could have another revenue stream of eight to $12,000 every single year. Your cap is $12,000, so you could literally, if you brought three agents over, be here for free every year. Or you can utilize that money however you want. It could be your vacation fund. It could be money you put aside for rental properties. However you want to do it, it's just a nice perk of being here. It's not meant to completely replace your income. But if you are looking to grow a big organization and attract and help a lot of agents, you can also be incentivized with that too, as real has five tiers within their revenue share program. And it's a very basic tiered system. When you recruit someone over into your tier one, you'll get compensated 5% of everything they make up until they cap. Your tier two is four, tier three, three, tier four, two, tier five, one. So what exactly is the tier system and how exactly does it work? So quite simply, anybody that you personally bring over and sponsor is gonna go over to your tier one. If they also then want to recruit and bring some people over to them, whoever they bring will be in your tier two. 
And whoever those people bring next will go into your tier three and tier, and then after that tier four and after that tier five. But you have to be able to unlock these tiers as well. So in order to unlock your second tier, you have to have five frontline producing agents. And this actually just recently changed. And if you've seen other videos from Real, you probably see that it used to be 10. And we just brought it down to five to help incentivize agents a little bit more. And honestly, they were noticing that a lot of times if you were recruiting and bringing people over, it wasn't uncommon to bring over a mini team where you might be able to bring over a team leader, but you weren't getting any rev share for the teammates that they brought because they were in your tier two. So they want to make this a little easier to unlock your tier two. So again, to unlock tier two, you have to have five frontline producing agents. So what exactly does that mean? Well, quite said, it's pretty basic, right? They need to be doing real estate and they don't even need to do a lot of real estate. They need to do just a little bit of real estate. They need to close one transaction every six months that generates at least $3,000 in commission. As long as they're doing that, they're going to be considered an active agent for you and allow you to unlock other tiers. So yes, once you have five agents in your tier one that are selling a few homes, now you can unlock your tier two. And everyone in your tier two you're gonna be making 4% of their revenue up until they cap. Now, if you wanna unlock tier three, you need to have 15 agents in your tier one, 20 for tier four, and once you have 25 or more producing agents, you have all five tiers unlocked. So if you wanna create a large organization under you, you absolutely have the financial incentive to do so but we are not a heavy recruiting brokerage. We are all about attracting like-minded agents. In fact, just blindly cold calling trying to recruit agents is against our independent contractor agreement that you will sign when you first come over to real. We want to attract naturally organic agents that are like-minded like us and want to grow something cool and contribute to our already awesome culture that we have established here at real. So, I mean, that's in a nutshell, rev share, right? So if you have questions about it, please reach out. I'd love to have a conversation with you, explain anything that I didn't explain. Or if you have other questions about Real in general, feel free to check out any of my other videos or reach out. All my contact information is below. We'd love to have a conversation with you.